welcome to Kids Academy. Hello boys and girls, this is Teacher Mike, and today I'd like to talk to you about different measuring tools. First, we're going to review what these measuring tools are and how we can use them appropriately, and then we're going to look at some objects and choose the correct tool to measure this object with. Let's get started right away. The first tool I'd like to talk to you about is the ruler. A ruler is 12 inches long and is used to measure smaller objects. When we use the ruler, we want to make sure that objects that we measure are smaller than the ruler so that way we can measure them really accurately. The next tool I'd like to talk to you about is a yardstick or a meter stick. A yardstick is exactly three feet long because there are three feet in one yard. A meter stick is about three feet long, so we can use a meter stick and a yardstick kind of in the same way. We use a meter stick or a yardstick to measure bigger things because a meter stick or a yardstick is like having three rulers on top of each other. We use a yardstick for bigger things like a table. The next thing I'd like to talk to you about is a plastic tape measure. Now a plastic tape measure is really cool because you don't have to just measure straight objects with a plastic tape measure because the tape measure can bend and can be used to measure curvy objects like your hips. A plastic tape measure is a really unique measuring tool that can help measure objects that aren't perfectly shaped. The last measuring tool I'd like to teach you about is a metal tape measure. Now a metal tape measure is very different than a plastic tape measure. A metal tape measure can be from 50 to 200 feet long, meaning it can measure things like houses and cars. A metal tape measure is really big for measuring things that other tools can't measure. Now, let's read the directions for our worksheet and get started right away. Help Steve measure different things in his house. Check the most suitable tool for each measurement. Let's get started. First, we have a nail, and our two choices for measurement are a ruler or a metal tape measure. Now, I remember telling you that a metal tape measure can measure distances between 50 and 200 feet. Is a nail really that big? I don't think so. In my estimate, or my best guess, I would say nail, a nail is a few inches long. So the best tool to measure a nail is, in fact, a ruler. We would only need one ruler to measure a nail, which makes this the right choice. The next object we want to look at is a soccer ball. And I can see for this measurement, we want to measure around the soccer ball. So really, to measure an object that's curvy or a round object, there's really only one choice that we talked about, the plastic tape measure, because that will help us measure curvy or imperfect objects. A ruler would not be an appropriate choice for this, because there is no straight line to measure on a soccer ball. The next object we want to measure, or choose the correct tool to help us measure, is this door. Now this door is pretty big, so I don't think a ruler is going to be enough because we're going to have to use multiple rulers to measure this door. But if we had one meter stick, I think we might be able to measure this door. We might need two, but still, it's more appropriate than using a ruler to measure the door. So let's choose the meter stick. Finally, we have a house. How big do you think this house is? Pretty big. Our two choices for the house are the ruler and the tape and the metal tape measure. If I were to measure this house using the ruler, I would need a lot of rulers. But if I were to measure just using one metal tape measure, I might be able to measure the whole house. So the metal tape measure is the appropriate choice here because it can measure distances or lengths from 50 to 200 feet long. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and I hope you learned a little bit about selecting the correct measurement tool. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.